llegan ni siquiera fuera del país a poder concursar, nada. Ahora ya están haciendo. ¿Ya están? Sí, pero okay. antes nada, nada. Ahora sí ganan hasta el dinero. This is actually the narrow point of the lake. It's the large portion here, the smaller portion this way. We're heading across to a mysterious ancient site called Santiago de Buque, which uh, excavations began about 10 years ago. Almost nobody knows anything about it, so we're going to see what we can find. Buenas tardes. ¿Cómo está? Gusto de saludar. Hemos estado en el año nuevo en Mera, creo, juntos aquí, ¿no? Ajá. En la... Acá en Chucuperca. En el lugar donde están las ruinas. Sí. Estamos yendo ahí. ¿Por dónde entramos? Por allá, pues, por allá. Ya nos vamos caminando. Definitely megalithic, and the stone does not look like it's local because we've driven several miles and we've seen where they've excavated for the road itself and this, this material is not there. Not big chunks of stone of this size. So obviously, like many megalithic sites, the stone was brought here on purpose from another location. Now we get the perspective from my quadcopter, a Phantom Vision 2 Plus, great little toy. And the local villagers came out in droves to look at it because they'd never seen anything like it. As you can see, the excavation is quite minor, but um, this was probably the central ceremonial area. Much of the site has been ravaged by time and also local villagers taking the big stones, breaking them up and building their own houses out of. This is not a something that just happens in Bolivia, but happens all over the world when a site has been abandoned probably for thousands of years and is no longer recognized for its special nature. But that's what's, uh, again, great about having a quadcopter in that you're able to see a much greater perspective of uh, what a site like this looks like. If you visit, please give the mayor a donation. So the stone appears to be sandstone. And the tool marks would appear to be hand tool marks. But it's an exceptional thing to uh, not discover but to explore. And this is some other kind of stone. Obviously it's a snake. You can see how the spiral goes, comes up here. The black part was exposed before. It's only recently been excavated. It says that you have the mission to let the world know this place with your films. Yes. Él dice que sí. Perfecto. Es una me parece que son vestigios de una antigua civilización de la época de Cristo, ¿no? donde 
Aquí había una civilización de un pueblos guerreros, los hombres Katari, ¿no? que tenían rivalidad con otros pueblos. ¿no? Entonces, esta es una fortaleza antigua. He, he that this was part of the Bible also. You know, the very antiques, and they have rivalities with people around the, the place. So I'm going to say again, they are happy that we're going to show to the world these monuments. Do, do they know what culture? ¿Saben qué cultura exacta es? ¿No es Tiwanaco? No, es mucho más antiguo que Tiwanaco, en ¿Sí? los tiempos de Cristo. Yeah, it's more antique than Tiwanaku, maybe from the time of Christ. That's what he said. Do, is the stone local, or is it was it brought here from somewhere else? Esto siempre ha estado aquí, o lo han traído de otro lugar. Bueno, es un misterio esto, porque las piedras pesan más de arriba de cinco toneladas. Entonces no hay aquí eh, lugares donde se puede extraer semejante piedra. O sea, no hay um, canteras, ¿no? Entonces es un misterio de dónde han traído las piedras, ¿no? Yeah, it is a mystery from where they, they took these uh, stones. So they believe they are belong to here because they are from more than four towns each one. Mm -hmm. You know? So that's what they, he says that is a mystery.